This is just a sample of the audiobook. To get the complete audiobook access the link posted in the first comment. At noon, on December 4, 1950, an RB-45C piloted by Captain Charles E. McDonough, the RB-45C detachment commander, rose into the sky above Yakota Air Base, headed for its reconnaissance targets beyond the Yalu River, the border between North Korea and China. The aircraft called in its position when it entered North Korean airspace. After that, silence. It was not a routine reconnaissance mission. On board the aircraft, besides the pilot, co-pilot, and radar navigator, was an Air Force colonel by the name of John Lovell, who was based at the Pentagon and directly involved in planning reconnaissance missions for the RV-45C. Why Colonel Lovell was on board this particular aircraft is unknown. However, for a man with his knowledge of highly classified and close-to-hole reconnaissance operations to expose himself to possible capture was indeed unusual and very risky. It just wasn't done. Certainly Moscow was aware of the RB-45C's capabilities, the most advanced photo reconnaissance aircraft at this time in the world. Moscow may have even known more than that regarding this particular flight. However that may be, the aircraft was intercepted by fighters as it entered Chinese airspace and was shot down. According to documentation that became available after the demise of the Soviet Union in 1992, Russian fighters shot down McDonough's plane near the Yalu River. McDonough ejected from the plane, but appeared to have been injured in the ejection and died en route to an interrogation facility. None of the others appeared to have survived. Only four months later, on April 9, 1951, a second RV-45C came close to sharing the fate of Captain McDonough's aircraft. Second Lieutenant Arthur L. O'Connor, assigned to the 4th Fighter Interceptor Group based at Kempo Air Base near Seoul, South Korea, was lead of a flight of four F-86 aircraft escorting an RV-45C in the Seniju area. First Lieutenant James McGrath was the pilot of the RV-45C. The F-86s joined up with McGrath as he crossed into North Korea. A large formation of MiG-15 jet fighters attacked the RV-45C. The enemy leader, according to Lt. O'Connor's Distinguished Flying Cross Citation, was in firing position behind the RB-45 when O'Connor shot him down. The F-86s, commanded by World War II ace John C. Meyer, were all MiG hunters and thrilled when they could get an RB-45 escort assignment, which nearly always guaranteed that MiG-15s would show trying to take down the RB-45. 